right, hey y'all. So I just wanted to get on here real quick to do a little review on this beautiful, beautiful, okay, wig that I am wearing right now. Um, so this wig is from Divas Wigs and she arrived in this beautiful box um, about, I wanna say maybe a week ago. Um, and I've just been playing around with her. So in this video, I'm just going to do a quick review of my initial thoughts on the wig, kind of some tips that I use to get my wig to lay like it is with the parts and just some specs on the wig and the company in general. So if you are interested, stay tuned. All right, so like I said, this wig is from Divas wigs and this is the box that it came in it came like pretty standard shipping time maybe like four or five days and inside the box the wig came in this cute little satin bag I thought this was so cute and classy has the name on it this is really good for like travel if you're traveling with your wig you know you want to take it off when you sleep throw it in this little bag it's not gonna get all messed up and stuff so yeah super cute love that also in the box, it came with this brush. I haven't opened it yet because I already have a wig brush, but if you need a brush, comes with a brush on the inside, really cute. Also came with this weaving cap. If you use this up under your wig, most of us already have like a stocking cap, but this serves the same purpose. It also came with an elastic band, but I sewed that into my wig. Which I already know what that looks like. And then it also just came with this little pamphlet and I will read you off the specs for this particular unit. I got the 100% Brazilian virgin hair. This is 20 inches. The color is a 1B, 150 density, um, pre-plucked hairline. Lace color is medium brown and it's a glueless lace front cap size average. So yes, let's get into this wig. Okay, so um, like I said, it's 100% Brazilian virgin hair. It said that the hairline came pre-plucked, but I didn't see no pre-plucked. I ended up plucking the wig myself, which wasn't a big deal. I mean, I had to customize it to my liking anyway, so I just plucked it myself along the hairline. I just have my hair up, you know, kind of twisted down and up under the wig to kind of lay it flat. And yeah, but so far, I am in love with this wig, okay? Like, this wig, it, first of all, the hair, super soft. When it first came, it was like in that brownish kind of 1B color that wig company sent. So I did dye this unit a true 1B color. This was some simple box dye and then I just quickly ran my flat iron through it. Um, but for the most part, like, the wig came really nice, like super soft. Um, you know, I didn't have any problems with shedding. I have not had any issues with tangling like unruly issues with tangling this is a long unit so you're gonna get like a little bit you know but nothing like good old little wig brush can't handle but yeah so basically what i did to this unit was i dyed it ran my flat iron through it and then of course i plucked the part now i do use the infamous got to be glued, you know, to lay it down in the mornings to adhere it to my forehead. I just do one quick little, you know, line of got to be glued, kind of blow dry it on cool for a couple of minutes to get it like kind of tacky and then put my wig down and then press it down with the end of my rat tail comb and then kind of let that set. Once it sets, I take my NYX contour and highlighting palette and I go in with my small brush into this darkest color. And of course, this would depend on you know your skin tone. But for me, I found that going in with this darkest color right here really helps to get the lace color the perfect color. And it really blends in really nicely with my forehead and my skin and it looks very seamless. I did wash it when I first received the wig. And like I said, I didn't receive any shedding, any tangling. Like I have not had any issues. It looks 
so good i'm out here in this houston humidity and this wig holds up so well y'all and i've gotten so many compliments because it just it looks so natural like once you flat iron it through it doesn't look as silky the texture of the wig is a silky wig but when you flat iron it like you wash it blow dry and flat iron it it kind of thickens up a little bit and it doesn't look super silky so that's what gives it its really natural look i'm going to stand up really fast for y'all so you can see the true length it's 20 inches and i am five five and this is how far it comes down on me and this is the back because it comes all the way down here i feel like 20 inches doesn't usually come down that far but that's what it looks like so yeah um definitely go on to diva's wigs y'all check them out um i will leave all of the information about the wig and the link to get the wig down in the description box but check them out okay because you know we all need a little fall winter wig and i feel like this is the perfect style so thanks for tuning in y'all make sure to comment like and hit that subscribe button see you later